Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 6.8, we're going to work on three digit subtraction with regrouping tens without drawing the models. Okay, so, but we are going to review using models. Okay, so listen to the following problem and then pause the video to draw your quick picture and find the difference. 473 people went to the football game. 146 people were still there at the end of the game. How many people left before the end of the game? Okay, again, there were 473 people at the game. There were only 146 people at the end of the game. How many people left the game? Okay, go ahead and pause the video and solve the problem. Okay, is this what you came up with? 473 minus 146. So we need to model this. So 100, 200, 300, 400. We're modeling 473 because that's what we have. Okay, so seven tens and three ones. Now, can I take six ones? From the three ones? No. So we need to regroup. So we're going to add, trade one of the tens for ten ones. Okay, now we can take away six ones. Uh, six ones from thirteen ones. Okay. And then we have six tens remaining after trading the one ten for extra ones. And six tens take away four tens. We can do that. Okay. And then we have four hundreds and we have to take away one of them. Okay. So that should leave you three hundreds, two tens, and seven ones for a total of three hundred and twenty seven. Left the, left the game. So let's see using just the standard subtraction algorithm. We have three ones and we have to take away six ones. We can't do that. So we're going to regroup in the tens. Take one of the tens and trade it for ten ones. Thirteen ones take away six ones is seven ones. Six tens take away four tens is two tens. And four hundred take away one hundred is three hundred. So we do get 327. Let's look at 310, page 310. So we have 354 and we have to subtract 137. So are there enough ones to subtract seven? So 354 take away 137. Starting in the ones, there are not enough ones to take away seven. So no. So if that's the case, we know that we have to regroup one ten as ten ones. So we're going to take one of the five tens. That'll leave us four tens. And we're going to trade that one ten for ten ones. Ten ones plus one one is fourteen ones. Okay. If we were doing a model, we'd have three hundreds, we'd have five tens, and we'd have the four ones. We need to trade one of the tens for ten ones. Okay, so that's where we're at right now, right? So we, now we have enough ones. Okay, so now that there are enough ones, subtract the ones. 14 minus 7 is 7. So here we subtract 7, and that leaves us 7. All right, so now we go to the tens. We have four tens after regrouping. Can we take away three tens? Yes. Four tens take away three tens is one ten. Okay. Now we're in the hundreds. Three hundred take away one hundred is two hundred. So our answer is two hundred seventeen. All right, let's see if we can do this without having to draw a picture. So we have four hundred thirty one, and we have to take away three hundred twenty six. So we're going to start in the ones place. I have one one and I have to take away six ones. We should know that's not possible, right? So we're going to have to regroup. That'll leave us two tens and eleven 
ones. Okay, so we added 10 ones to the 1 1. Now we have 11 ones. 11 take away 6. We can do that. That's 5. 2 tens take away 2 tens. Okay, so 0 tens. And 400 take away 300. That's going to give us 100. So 105. Okay. Number 2. 658 minus 237. I have 8 ones and I have to take away 7 ones. Well, since 7 is less than 8, we can do that. Okay, so we don't need to regroup to get more ones. So now we're in the tens. 5 tens take away 3 tens. We can do that. And 600 take away 200 is 400. So we did not have to regroup. Okay, that's why these boxes are empty and why nothing is crossed out. Okay, we didn't have to regroup. Okay, let's look at number three on page num page 311. So 728 minus 107. We have eight ones and we have to take away seven ones. We can do that because seven is less than eight. We don't have to regroup. Two tens take away zero tens. Okay, well, I still have two tens then. 700 take away 100. 600. Again, no regrouping. Okay, now number four, 452 minus 216. Okay, here we have two ones and we have to take away six ones. Can't do that. Six is not less than two. So we're going to need to get more ones. So to do that, we're going to trade one of the five, one of the tens for ten ones. Okay, so now we have enough ones. Twelve take away six ones is six ones. Four tens take away one ten, three tens. Four hundred take away two hundred, leaves me two hundred. Number five, <clears throat> nine hundred sixty five minus two hundred thirty eight. Okay, I have five ones and I have to take away eight ones. Can't do that, eight's more than five, so I'm going to need more ones. So I'm going to take one of the six tens and trade it for 10 ones. So now we have 15 ones. 15 take away 8. We can do that. That's 7. 5 tens take away 3 tens. That's 2 tens. 9 hundreds minus 2 hundreds. 700. Number 6. 489 take away 149. I have nine ones and I have to take away nine ones. We can do that. It's going to leave us zero ones. Eight tens minus four tens leaves me four tens. Four is less than eight, so we can subtract that. Four hundred minus one hundred. One is less than four, so we can subtract that. Three hundred forty. So no regrouping. Number seven, 645, take away 227. I have five ones and I have to take away seven ones. Can't do that because seven is more than five. So I'm going to take one of the four tens and trade it for ten ones. Fifteen minus seven is eight. Three tens, take away two tens. One ten. Six hundred. Take away 200, 400. And number eight, 670, take away 138. Well, I have zero ones and I have to take away eight ones. We're not going to do that. Eight's a lot more than zero. So we're going to have to regroup one of the seven tens as ten ones. All right, so now we have ten ones and we have to take away eight ones. We can do that. After freezing there. So after regrouping, we have six tens and ten ones. Well, ten minus eight, we can do that. That leaves us two ones. Six tens take away three tens. Three tens. Six hundred take away one hundred is five hundred. Number nine, there were 287 music books and 134 science books in the store. 
after some books were sold, there are 159 books left. How many books were sold? How many books were sold? After some books were sold, there are 159 left. There were 287 music books and 134 science books. Well, this is not specific, right? It doesn't say how many music books were sold. So we're gonna to have to figure out how many total books we had. So this is a two-step problem. So we have 287 plus 134. So seven plus one is 11. We're gonna regroup that as 110 and 11. 8 and 3 tens is 11 tens, plus 1 more 10 is 12 tens. We'll regroup that as 100 and 2 tens, and I will add up the tens. We have 2, 3, 400. Okay, so we had a total of 421 books in the store. After some number were sold, after some number were sold, there were a hundred and fifty nine left. Well, we know that, like in math facts, eight minus something, and let's say the answer is three. Well, we know that we can take eight and subtract three to find the other or the missing number. So this is five. So if we do the same thing here, 421 minus 159. That'll tell us how many books were sold. All right, so I have one one and I have to take away nine ones. Can't do that. So we're going to regroup. Okay, so now we have 11 ones and we have to take away nine ones. That's two ones. All right, so now we have one ten and we have to take away five tens. I can't do that, so I'm going to take one of the hundreds and trade it for 10 tens. 11 tens minus 6 tens is 6, and 300 take away 100 is 2. So 262 books were sold. Okay, page 312. <clears throat> Solve, write, or draw to explain. There are 235 whistles and 42 bells in the store. Ryan counts 128 whistles on the shelf. How many whistles are not on the shelf? So the only number we need is the 235 and the 128 whistles. We don't need the 42 bells. So we have 235 minus 128. All right, <clears throat> I have five ones and have to take away eight ones. We know we can't do that. So we'll regroup three, one of the three tens as We'll regroup one of the tens as 10 ones and 15 take away eight is seven ones. And two tens take away two tens is zero. And 200 take away 100 is 100 and leaves us 107. So 107 whistles are not on the shelf. And the last problem for this lesson, Dr. Jackson had 326 stamps. He sells 107 stamps. How many stamps does he have now? How many stamps does he have now? He had 326. He sold 107. If you have something and you sell them, you no longer have them, right? So we're going to have to subtract. So 326 minus 107. Okay, I have six ones and I have to take away seven ones. Can't do that. So we're going to take one of the two tens and trade it for 10 ones. Now I have enough ones. 16 minus 7 is 9. And 110 take away 0 tens is 1. 300 take away 100, 200. 
So he still has 219 stamps. Would, would you do these things to solve the problem? Would you subtract 107 from 326? Yes, we would. Or should. Did we regroup 110 as 10 ones? Yes, we did. Right? We took one of the tens and regrouped it as 10 ones. So, yes. Did we regroup the hundreds? No. Okay, we didn't cross out the hundred to make the tens bigger. So, no. Did we subtract seven ones from 16 ones? Seven ones from 16 ones. Yes. Did we add 26 and 10? No. Okay. All right, so that's it for lesson 6.8 using three digit subtraction with regrouping tens. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.